What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Ori. Welcome back to AM Island 5. So, you guys are doing I'm doing all right. Today, we're back with another reaction video. Today, we're going to be reacting to The Lie I Wish I Never Told Anime Stories by Yo Yo 808. I ain't going to cap. I'm starting to become a real, real fan of his videos, man. I enjoy his videos, man. I think I'm subscribed. Am I not? Yeah, I am subscribed. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, man. But. So we're going to do a little reaction, you know, video on that. If you guys are new to the channel, smash that like button and subscribe. I'm going to try and get into it. I think I said that already, but I'm going to say it again because I don't remember half of the stuff I be saying. I don't know. Just have not that good of a memory. Let's get to it. And then he looks at me, almost as he anticipated my next move. I asked your brother if he was playing it, and he said no. And I know, I know that you never go behind my back and lie about it because... <laughs> Then I'd have to beat you. So I'm gonna ask you again. Do you have the Game Boy? Oh gosh. I've made a good bit of stories about my mom and I'd accurately describe her as someone who does not mess around. My mom is strict, but she's consistent. Like she's a constant level of hostile. You know, there's a one <laughs> She's one of those parents where if you tell her a messed up joke, it turns into a backhand and a lecture. My dad, on the other hand, is a basic stock cool dad. You know, chill, tells lame jokes, doesn't really care about what you do as long as you don't kill anyone or get them pregnant. He's the chill parent. But if you make him mad, his level of hostile nearly triples that of my mom's. And yeah, likewise. Oh man, I'll uh... I'll let you connect those dots. However, it's a lot harder to anger him than it is to anger my mom. But if Facts. there's one way to almost guarantee a beating with the rage of a thousand sons, it's lying. And I lied quite a bit as a kid. This took place a long time ago. Honestly, Yo, I have no clue. This is accurate, was, accurately. This is primary I, no, I guess this is what correct. This is accurately describing my father. I have never got beaten from my father for anything besides lying. My father has never beaten me for something like not washing the dishes or not taking out the garbage or something some, 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 some silly like that. Like I see a lot of people, you know what I mean? I would get beatings for lying. That's it. No matter what it is, I lied. So I would get beatings for that. School. Now, we didn't have school buses, so after class, all of the kids would go into this theater room and wait for their parents to walk in and pick them up. And while we waited, kids would play with Game Boys to help pass the time. Now, I had just gotten one for my birthday, but my mom made it very clear that she did not want me taking it to school. But, like, the only point of getting a Game Boy in the first place is to play it outside of the house. Like, why would I play with a Game Boy in the same room as my Xbox 360? Like, what do I look like playing Tetris next to a machine that can literally run Black Ops 2? So, needless to say, I had to find a way to get my Game Boy to school. And best believe, I had a plan. Okay, so my mom and dad both have very busy schedules. They take me to school, but my aunt takes me from school. So I come up with a three-phase plan. So phase one, while I'm getting ready for school, I grab my Game Boy, put it in my book bag, not my pocket, because that's too bulky and noticeable. Rookie mistake. Next, I dash to my dad's car and we drive to school. Boom. Phase two. When the school day ends, I'll be in the theater room on my Game Boy. I'll occasionally glance up to check on my aunt. And when I see her, I'll shove the game into my bag because you already know how I feel about pockets. Now for the hard part. Phase three. When my aunt takes me home, I need to run to the living room, take the game out of my bag, and put it on the charger before anyone walks in the house and saves me. Man, this plan is airtight. Full proof. I'm like a blind guy taking on a flashbang. Boom! So my mom leaves for work and my I never thought about it like that. School, so I quickly stuff my Game Boy into my book bag and get into the car. Fast forward to the end of the school day and bam, I'm in the theater room with my Game Boy. This was such a perfect plan. Foolproof, blind guy, flashbang. Now while I'm playing, I'm glancing up at the door every once in a while waiting for my aunt to show up. So I'm playing and playing and so I look up and I see my dad. I, I, I look up and I see my dad walk into the theater room. This... This was not part of the plan. Blind guy, live grenade. I get startled and I drop the Game Boy. He looks wow. over and I grab the game with the swiftness and put it in my 
my pockets. Wow. As we're walking in the hallway, I'm thinking, I can, I can still get away with this. Maybe you didn't see everything. Maybe the blind got hung. Did you take that Game Boy? That sentence brings instant shivers down my spine. I can feel my dad's hostile aura just fill the room. I can't even look him in the eyes. I let out a sigh of defeat. I open my mouth and say, nah, I didn't take the game, boy. That's right. My plan wasn't over yet. I can still <laughs> get out of this. All I have to do is rush to the house when we get home and give the game to my brother so he can say he was playing it. My dad says, no, you didn't. Because when I got home from my lunch break, I noticed that the Game Boy wasn't there. And then he looks at me, almost as he anticipated my next move. I asked your brother if he was playing it, and he said no. And I know, I know that you never go behind my back and then lie about it, because <laughs> then I'd have to beat you. So I'm going to ask you again. Do you have the Game Boy? Damn. He's got me. He's gonna find the Game Boy in my pocket! What do I say? Uh, it's my friend's Game Boy. Mom said I could take it. It was an entanglement. Uh, uh, wait. Wait, I got it. I think of a foolproof lie that is guaranteed to get me out of this, but before I can even open my mouth to say it, his eyes glance down to my right pocket. He takes his hand off my shoulder and then looks back up at me. But now his eyes are staring into my soul. I know that he knows that I know that he saw the Game Boy bulging out of my pocket. What's in your pocket? He says as he's clearly staring at my right front pocket in a final attempt to not get caught. I tried to get smart and reach into my left pocket and hand him the pencil that was in your pocket. <laughs> that nigga got slapped. Oh, bro. Oh gosh, I know the feeling. Honest, I reach into my right pocket. <laughs> and I get slapped. Oh shit. I think I get slapped in the hallway. That's the part. Play by the whole room, girl. I can see that shit. Listen, I didn't get. Listen. Don't hope you, you, you good. You glad no one. I see you get slapped. I, I'll come to you tomorrow. You didn't, you didn't pick up yesterday? Yeah. Well, he was saying anything in the hallway. Nah, man. Hey, you the kind to me. He's like, no, no, he'd be like, I, I'm probably been like, okay, he just was talking. Yeah, man, you know, he just tripping. He didn't hit you? Nah, man, nah, man. I didn't come and whisper him. Yo, honest, I saw you get slapped yesterday in the hallway. I ain't gonna tell nobody, though. <laughs> I grab the Game Boy and he snatches it. Yo, honest, you lied to me multiple times. I thought I raised you better than this. He starts ranting, and at this point, at this point, I should have just shut up. I already got caught, but I decided to open my mouth. I look at him. This is a true story. This is verbatim what I said to my dad that day. Oh, I didn't realize I was in my pocket. I wore these pants yesterday. Really? Yes. Slap again. He hands the Game Boy back to me, calls my mom, and tells her about the Game Boy that I accidentally left in my pocket. Yo. Yo, it worked! <laughs> what? I let out a sigh of relief. I... I won. I did. We walked to the parking lot while my dad's still on the phone with my mom. She says something that I can't understand, to which he replies, Oh yeah, I'm beating him when we get to the car. He says as he presses the key to lock the door that I just tried to open it. <laughs> yo, that was evil. He did not have to hand me the game back like that, yo. <laughs> yeah, I got beat that day. Don't lie to your parents, kids. Just don't. Unless you have a full food plan. Blash bang, blind guy. Bite the bitch, I'm touching up my dick and a guy. Money stretching, monkey be on my butt. Throw a good then I'm now it's alright. Bitch, I'm down, I'm being big as a titan. And I'm going harder, hockey is high. Saber going in the wind. Well, y'all know. Listen. Oh, God, though. This sound like. This sound like my life. I ain't even gonna lie to you. I used to lie. For stupid reasons. I ain't even gonna cap. Good if you watch this, I lied a lot. I know I lied a lot. Let me tell you, my lies are so stupid. Say for example, these keys, right? I would move these keys, right? Then my daddy be like, Ori, you move the keys? You damn well know I move the keys, but you can ask me if I move the keys if you don't move the keys. Anyway, I'd be like, no sir. Ori, if I move the keys and you don't move the keys, who 
who moved the keys? By the way, it's just me and him in the house, by the way. Me, me and my dad live alone. So who moved the keys are? I know. Nigga! Or, I, like, as I sit down here and look back, I wish I could go back in time. Nigga, tell him you moved the key, bro. It's not that hard. But as I get older, I just didn't care no more, really and truly. I just gave up. I was like, man, shit, if I get beaten, I get beaten. Fuck it. But, hope you guys enjoyed this video, man. Shouts out to Yo Yo, man. Good video. Good animated story. You know, smash that like button, man. Check him out, man. Wait, let me, let me, let me make sure I smash the like button. Like, but yeah, with that being said, I hope you guys have an amazing day, man. Be happy, be blessed, and remember the world is yours. Peace.